Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you guys have not been here before, thank you so much for coming. It is time for another. All right, you guys, it is Tuesday and tomorrow I wanted to get this video up to you guys on Wednesday because for some reason Wednesdays to me are just like the perfect day to just sit down at the end of the day with a glass of wine, catch up on some YouTube, just relax. For me, Wednesdays are just that middle of the week, kind of like I need a day just to relax, like an evening to just take care of me. So I hope you guys have a glass of wine um, because we're gonna talk today about, um, uh, my cat's chasing his tail, so it might be kinda loud, but we're gonna talk about something I had a few comments and questions about, and that is basically, what my Dubsado proposals look like and how I like lay out the package options and honestly just what it looks like because proposals can be very, um, there's so many things you can do with them. And I also just kind of wanted to show you guys like the templates that Dubsado comes with so that you can like take advantage of those. But um, I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek into like what I send and how the whole system kind of works. So before we get started, I'm gonna pour myself a glass. And you guys, I finally have a new wine this week. I like have been drinking Mayomi for probably like two months now. But I went to Trader Joe's a couple days ago and Trader Joe's has like bomb wines. They have so many to choose from and there's so many there I wanna try. But this one just spoke to me because the label is just so beautiful. Something about just the simplicity and like they have I love fonts that are like vertical like that. They had the font on here. And I really liked the Zippendel I had last month, I think it was. So I want to try a new Zippendel and see if I maybe Zippendels are my thing. So we're going to try this one. Um, so let's pour ourselves a little glass. And I opened the bottle up downstairs because I'm a very clumsy person. I don't trust myself doing that near my desk. So did it downstairs. And this is the only piece of West Elm I own. Good old wine glass because I love West Elm. I'm going to manifest all the furniture I can from that beautiful store. So I started with a wine glass. Just one, two. Okay. Anyway, let's try out the wine and then we'll jump into my screen recording. Oh, wow. Wow. It was almost like sour at first, like, I like it though. It's kind of like refreshing, like super like, God, I wish I knew how to explain wines. Maybe one day I'll take a Somali course or something, but let me try and explain this for you guys. That's interesting, very like berry tasting. If that makes sense, I'm probably completely terrible at describing wines, but it's like the second it hits your tongue, it's like the sour berry taste. I think that's a good description. Okay guys, so I don't always give package options. I just wanna throw that out there before we dive into looking at when with package options. I think that's important to note just because sometimes, um, the only times I really give a package option, like two different things they can choose from, is if they are, let's say they want to do a website, but they don't want, really want to do branding yet. That is typically when I separate the two. Or if it's like a social media client, which I don't accept anymore because I just, it's not my jam. But a lot of times with them, I would give them different options for like, if they want me posting three times a week or five times a week or seven times a week, that's a good time to do package options. Um, I'm trying to think of some other examples. Typically, that's all I ever really do, though. I never want to give the client multiple price points unless it's like different offers within each package. Um, if you're giving two packages, like same offers with maybe just a slight thing changed and you're giving them two drastically different prices, it could get really just confusing for the client and a lot of times like the decision won't be made quickly or at all so keep it simple for the client tell them straight up what the pricing is and I would say kind of stay away from too many package options you don't want to like confuse them um, 
But I just am going to show you guys a few different examples of some proposals I have sent out. So first off, um, this is Dubsado and you can actually click up here in the template library. And let's say you're looking for, they already categorize it for you. If you're looking for like a questionnaire, they have really cool like, um, like if you have a virtual assistant, like you want to have someone apply to do that for you. I wish I had utilized that when I was hiring a virtual assistant, but that's a really awesome one. Um, this one I have used quite often. It's like a website brief. So basically, um, everything you could want to know about their website is in there. Um, and you can just copy that to your account and customize it. And it's so, so helpful. Like getting Dubsado really changed the game for my design business. Um, and then you can even use like a proof board, like their um, mood board. This is actually a new one and this is really cool. Like you can give them everything they would need, like in their first initial stages of like branding. You could even just use um, a link from here to send it. So instead of using like Envision or um, a PDF, this is a beautiful way to present it. So that is kind of what Dubsado offers you. They even have like proposal templates, like um, let's just see a general sample. So you can even add add add-ons, add add-ons. You can even put add-ons on your proposal. Like if you wanna, if you're doing like a website, but you wanna add on, let's say like custom elements for the website or like hand-drawn elements, like you can add that as add-ons. Um, just some examples, but I'm going to show you guys specifically some that I have sent out. Well, let me pick a good one. I really need to clean up my Debs Auto though. Like something I have learned is that it can get really messy really quickly because there's such an easy little copy button right here and you can like copy and suddenly you're just like in over your eyeballs with like tons of different proposal templates. So, all right guys, this is a example proposal from last year. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, it is completely changed. Not completely. I definitely use some of the same layout kind of ideas. But the way I send this has changed this year. And I do think I kind of want to just keep that to myself for now. Because I'm kind of growing. And I don't know. There's just certain things I want to like keep a little private. But I do want to show you guys. This is an example of what I sent last year. Um, so I basically just give a little blurb in the beginning um letting them know that i'm like excited about this opportunity and that nothing on this proposal is permanent yet if they want to discuss anything like we're, i'm happy to do that um but this statement right here if you would like to suggest a better fit for your needs or budget i have completely taken that out this year because if someone doesn't want to work with me because of the budget like i'm not gonna adjust myself to fit their needs if that makes sense i feel like that is when things can get really hectic and burnt out if you're constantly trying to please everyone <laughs> if you're constantly trying to please everyone and fit everyone's perfect like mold of a designer the pricing all of that you're just going to end up shaping yourself to all these different people and never really finding your true like dream clients so i would say try and stay away from things like um, if you want to suggest a better fit for your budget, I wouldn't really say that. Be confident in your pricing and just go with it. And most of the time, clients are totally fine with that, especially if you are confident and if you're providing them really quality work. So I put that in the beginning. Um, I put little examples on my work. And then right here is where you can put the package. So I'll show you guys kind of like the package area but you can select your packages in here and that's what I did um, and then also just a little trick is there's smart fields up here so if you enter and if you want to put descriptions you can put item names and descriptions and that's how it pops up right there so um, all of this has changed so I don't mind showing you guys this because it's completely different now like for example two-week process definitely not um when it comes to like logos and all that i would say it takes me more like a month just because there are lots of back and forth that you have to account for 
um, and you never want to promise the client something that's not even like realistic so um, that's kind of what it looked like and then I put a little thing down here about when is your ideal date for completion and they can select the date on there that always helps me like with timeline but again this has changed because I need to know the timeline before we even like begin so my intake now is just I keep saying that but it's just really different now and I'm so glad I've learned from this um, but this is definitely not bad in, in any in any way it's just not perfect I guess I would say so I think because I've been saying that so much I should show you guys something I send like now so let me see if I can just like copy it and then this is an example of a proposal I sent out if you guys watched that video where I spoke to the client um, and I documented all of that this is what I sent after the call, after we discussed everything, um, this is what my proposal looked like. So as I said, it's pretty similar to what I just showed you, but there are differences down below. So she needs a website and we talked about branding, but she didn't know if she wanted to do it all at once. So this is when I provided package options. So up here I put like some different like logo designs I've done, some more recent ones, and then I also put website designs. Um, Okay, so then I put some example website designs, just like the overall layout of what the site looked like, um, just so she can get an idea of like what it looks like zoomed out. Um, okay, so down here is where I put the different packages. I put just the website or website and branding. And I explained everything there. Um, and I just said what you're going to get if you do the branding as well. Um, typically my price would be right here and I made sure to really highlight that there are payment plans available um, and then right below that I put which payment plan suits you best um, and then they can either choose three installments, four installments, five installments. So this is definitely the layout I have been sending more frequently this year um, for anyone that wants to work with me just because it's to the point, it's still short and simple, and um, it's nice to know the payment plans right here and then because when they click through proposal to contract to invoice, it'll reflect um, the payment plan they chose throughout all of that. So I hope that makes sense, but I just wanted to show you guys if you're still on the fence of Dubsado. I have loved it. I don't think I will change anytime soon. I think it's perfect for what I need. Um, and yeah, it has everything I need. So you can do contracts, questionnaires, proposals, all that kind of thing. So that is what my proposals look like. I hope that helps you guys. Let me know if it helps you. This is kind of a shorter video, but I think that it's always nice to see like the inner workings of how these project management platforms work. And, um, I'm really learning Asana right now because that is also something that just helps me with like progress project tracking um and like keeping a calendar of all that kind of stuff but there is a way to do that on here um on dubsado there's so many things that you can do with dubsado and i really need to sit down and take the time to learn all of the different um tools and stuff it has but i love it for the fact that it has proposal templates questionnaire templates contract templates and if you're just starting out, this is a great way to look like professional and that you have your shit together. And um, it actually really has taught me a lot about um, like workflows and all of that kind of stuff and intaking and client and how you should do it and how it should look. So yeah, I hope this was helpful to you. I haven't even taken a sip of this. If it was helpful, please let me know and like this video and subscribe down below if you did like it. Um, and if this video was helpful, it would be so awesome if you liked the video, subscribe down below and let me know any other topics you guys wanna see, whether it's Dubsado, designing, client stuff, let me know and I will do a video on it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a great 
rest of your week or night or whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys in my next video.